Butcher, the principal at Kennedy Elementary School in Winder, Georgia, Barrow County, Georgia. And thank you for joining us as we attempt to travel to all 50 states through the reading of books. Um, we're traveling northeast 730 miles, 726 miles. Uh, when we don't have a principal that I've made connections with, I just pick a city that I think would be cool to visit. I love mountain towns. I love beach towns. So we're going to another beach town. Uh, we're going 726 miles northeast to Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Um, we are going there. Um, it's a great beach town. In there, they have eight schools. They're part of the Cape Henlopen School District. Uh, there's four elementary schools in that district, and it's a, just a great beach town. You saw it as you were um, walking, as you were watching the intro, and you saw some pictures of the beach and the boardwalk. Also, too, Rehoboth Elementary is getting a brand new school building, so you saw some pictures of that, too. Pretty awesome. Um, so hopefully we can make connections with Rehoboth Beach, uh, Rehoboth Elementary School's principal. Um, but we do have an award-winning book from Delaware. It's called Ten Ways to Hear Snow, written by Kathy Camper, illustrated by Kennard Pack. So hopefully you enjoy. Ten Ways to Hear Snow, written by Kathy Camper, illustrated by Kennard Pack. When Lena woke up, everything was quiet. No cars honked, no buses chugged, no garbage trucks gulped trash across the street. Snow! Last night's blizzard was gone, leaving the city muffled and white. But today was Grape Leaf Day, when Lena would help her grandma make Warak Anab. City was losing her eyesight, and Lena loved helping her cook. I want to tell City about the snowstorm and make sure she's okay. The snow's so deep, Lena's mom said. We could go with you, Lena's dad offered. But Lena wanted to go see to City's by herself. Stay warm, Habibi, her dad told her. Lena bundled up. Outside, the sun on the snow was bright white as a light bulb. Lena squinched her eyes and pulled her scarf over her nose. She could barely see. I wonder if this is how, how City feels. Lena nodded and thought. The world sounded softer, but the noises she heard were clearer. Scrape, scrip, scrape, scrip. What was that? It was Mrs. Watson's shovel digging out of the sidewalk. That's one way to hear snow, Lena thought. Lena walked down the street. Snike, snack, snook. The noise was low to the ground. What was that? It was the tread of Lena's boots crunching snow into tiny waffles. That's two ways to hear snow. Lena ducked under the pine tree. Poof powdery sound. A blue jay on a branch had knocked down some snow. Three ways to hear snow, Lena counted. She listened for more. Swish, whish, swish, whish. What was that soft, whiskery noise? People sweeping snow off their cars. Their brushes made the fourth way to hear snow. Lena cut across a park. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Another snow noise. Lena saw long, skinny tracks by her boots. Ahead of her, people were skiing. The skis made the fifth way to hear snow. Rachid and Miriam were building a snowman. Pat, pat, pat. What was that? It was Mitten smoothing the snowman's head. The gentle sound made the sixth way to hear snow. Pages stick together. As Lena walked away, her friends whispered and laughed. Flump. Oh no, Lena ran fast from the seventh way to hear snow. Snowballs. Lena reached City's building, all out of breath, her boots covered with white powder. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Lena giggled. She was making the eighth way to hear snow. Hello, Lena, the lady in the lobby said. Go on in. She pointed toward Lena's grandmother's room. 
Lena tapped on her door. Surprise! City, it's me. I came to make great leaves with you. Lena threw her coat and her mittens on the radiator to dry. Wonderful! The lamb and rice are ready, City said. Yala, I can wait, Lena shouted. Let's get started. I can't wait, sorry. Lena, started, Lena rinsed the grape leaves and placed them on the towels. Put some filling in the center. Roll them up and put them in the pot, City instructed. They're like little grape leaf cocoons, Lena said, looking at them piled on the plate. Or lots of little sleeping bags, City replied. Ha! Mine looks like a mustache, Lena held her stuffed grape leaf under her nose. City held hers under her nose, too. That's good. She wrinkled up her face and said, We look like a couple of real tough guys, in a tough guy voice. City, did you know we had a blizzard last night? Of course. Lena was surprised. How could her grandmother know when she couldn't see very well? Then she heard a noise. Drip, drip, went the mittens. It was the sound of snow melting. Nine ways to hear snow. Suddenly, Lena understood how City knew. City, did you hear the snow? City smiled. Each morning, I open up the window and listen. Today, everything sounded hushed and, hushed and soft. No noise is the sound that means it's snowing. Still, I li City, I listened too. I heard snow nine different ways. Shovels were one, boots were two, the blue jay was three. Slow down, Habibi. Oh, slow down. I want to hear them all. But right now, shh, shh. She went to the window and opened it again. Listen, she said. Outside, the late blue afternoon was completely still. Quiet is the tenth way to hear snow. Ten ways to hear snow.